Hi guys, I'm Karen. Welcome to a new video. Today I'm going to talk about lip oils. I have here five lip, lip oils that I want to put to the test and test four of them in comparison to the infamous Dior lip oil. This is the lip oil by Dior. Oh, uh, this is called your Backstage 001 Cherry Oil Infused. So this is the original packaging. I know I love keeping it, but this is how it looks like. The Lip Glow Oil. Cherry Oil 001. This is so beautiful. First of all, look at that. This is just gorgeous. This is really, really pretty. So packaging wise, definitely, definitely they nailed it. This looks so, so beautiful. I love the packaging. So let's just start. First of all, the scent. It has a minty scent. I don't smell anything cherry, just minty. Let's just apply that. This has a very thick consistency and I really love the Doffler applicator. It's very big and chunky and it has this beautiful shape that really helps you. So this is a Dior. As you can see, this is very thick very thick consistency I love it I love it and I really think that you get what you paid for it feels luxurious it feels prestige you feel a lot more beautiful and I do feel that it's worth it but if you're on a low budget are there lip oils from the rock store that can replace this one or maybe even be even be better let's just try this is what we're here for so this is the Dior on me as you can see it gives a very glowy tint to the lips my lips look lashes and I don't have a lot of the stripes on my lips. I do have them, but not very visible. I really like the effect that it gives to my lips. Keep in mind that if you accidentally apply to your lips and not eat for 30 minutes, 45 minutes, not eat or drink and it stays on your lips, it will be tacky. Now, it's a little bit tacky, but not something that, you know, it's worth writing home for. It's a bit tacky, but not so bad. But after half an hour, 45 minutes, it gets a bit tacky. So keep that in mind. I still love it. I still think it looks, it gives my lips a very beautiful look. Now I'm going to erase on half of my lip. The Dior and let's just try and compare two other lip oils that I have here okay let's start with the elf this is the elf this is called glow revive lip oil mine is in the shade oh my god I left it here on my desk so when I will make a video I can see the name and not try to read it because it's too small and I can't find anywhere where I put it okay so this is the shade oh I really like this sound okay first of all let's compare the wands the applicators okay so this is the Dior obviously this is the elf they are similar not exactly the same 
maybe no not exactly the same but maybe this okay let's just show it to you very very similar ones they're both of a have a curve they're both chunky very 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 similar very very similar I don't see a lot of differences between the ones okay the shade is different this one also have a minty scent to it just for a second compare it no this one is tiny bit more minty And this has a brown tint to it. And again, I applied it to half of my lip. The other half has the Dior on. So this is the Elf, this is the Dior. Can we see differences? I have to say that I can't really see a difference. They both basically look the same can we see a difference no even though this one is a pinky more and this one is a bit more brown or taupe on my lips they basically look the same and also they're both not tacky not sticky and they do the same effect to the lips if you can see they smooth my lip and you can still see the cracks but they're less visible so they both look the same smell very similarly both are minty one is a bit more subtle mint one is a bit more minty mint but both of them are mints and they basically look the same so why spend a lot of money on the Dior, about the packaging? Maybe, you know, it's worth it because, you know, you put it in your bag, your evening bag, and you go into the restaurant and you want to touch up and you take it out of your purse and it looks really luxurious and beautiful and it's worth it. But if you're on a budget, I mean... Elf has many shades. You can even find a shade that is very similar to the Dior, even though that you can see on my lips it looks exactly the same. And the same effect of the blurriness. Great. Definitely compares to the Dior. Okay. I'm going to remove the Elf again. Well, not again. Again this side. Okay, next up is from NYX. This is their fat oil, uh, fat oil lip something, lip oil. Yeah, mine is in a supermodel. Now the scent is not as the Dior. This is very fruity. Ah, <sighs> this is divine. I can smell this all day. Oh, but, you know, as long as I have it and I use it more, the scent is kind of going away. Let's compare Dofflers to the Dior. This is the Dior, this is the NYX. Well, this is the Dior, this is the NYX. The Dofflers look very, very similar. They're both big and chunky and curvy. Very similar. Not exactly the same, but very, very similar. Scent. This one has a cherry scent, candy scent. This one is minty. So let's put it back in and put it on my lips. Okay, this one has a tint to it. Okay. This one has a tint to it. This is a pinky tint. And again, you can see it's pink. You can see it on my lips. It's pink. So it's different than the Dior ones. This, these are more pigmented. 
definitely more pigmented and has a cherry scent to them a candy scent cherry scent unlike the dior which is minty but on my lips they kind of look the same this one again is a tiny bit more tinted but other than the tint it looks the same it does the same blurring effect uh, on my lips as the dior one so again this is a tiny bit more uh it's tinted more than the dior so you can definitely see it more than you can see the dior maybe we can pick a lighter shade in the next one but they do the same thing and they're not tacky great I love it so much I really want to buy more shades of this one uh, I also like the elf they're both great but if I have to choose I do like the NYX a bit more just because of it the tint that it has it's more visible and I really, really like the scent of it but they are the same same thing both of them are the same thing as the Dior consistency wise formula wise stickiness wise everything is exactly the same exactly the same but the packaging is not the same I mean look at that which one is more beautiful definitely the Dior so packaging wise the Dior is definitely taking it okay next up Let's take it out. Again, half. Okay, next up is from Colourpop. This is the Lux Sleep Oil. I have this one in so many shades. This one is in uh, Cherry Bite. I looked for something that looks similar to the Dior. This is it. The Doffler is different, doesn't even resembles the Dior one. I think the Colourpop one is in the market for a longer period of time. They don't look the same at all. The Colourpop one is skinny and flat, doesn't have a curve. They don't look the same at all. They don't have the same scent to them. Again, this is minty. This is... Maybe one day it was cherry when I bought it. Now it has no scent whatsoever. And... This is definitely lighter in consistency than all the other three that we just saw. This is definitely lighter. In consistency but you know do we see a difference if you wouldn't know that this side is color pop this side is Dior would you be able to see the difference not really it gives the same effect the same effect as all the others the only problem is that the wand I don't really like the wand you know if you compare it to the Dior one the one is disappointing it's just flat and small and again the scent maybe one day it was a uh, cherry but now there is no scent but other than that they look identical at a fraction of the price again packaging wise definitely like the Dior but formula wise they do the same it's not tacky it gives the same blurring effect again if I wouldn't if you wouldn't know if you saw me like that on the street or in a video and you wouldn't know you think that both sides are the same exact product okay so far they all compare to the Dior formula wise or no, that's not accurate because the Colourpop formula is definitely different. 
you know what let's leave the ranking to the end or oh, my battery is starting to show up okay this is from a Korean brand the Saem Echo Soul lip oil in it doesn't say CJ007 okay this is number zero two I don't know exactly what does it called because it's in Korean but this is it This one has a very similar doffler to the Dior. Let's pop the Dior out again. They look identical. They look the same. As you can see, well, except for the shade, okay? The doffler itself looks the same. They are both curvy, they are both thick. But this one has a scent of a cherry, like the Colourpop used to have. And look at that, they, they look very similar to the Colourpop in the shade. This one is cherry scented. I love it. Okay. This one has the same consistency as the Dior one. Thick. And the Doffler is to die for, really. I really like the Doffler. It has no color to it. As you can see, it looks the same on the lips as it looks as the Dior one. Looks identical. And I think that it, this one even blurs better than the Dior. Maybe I need to reapply the Dior. You know what? Let's reapply the Dior. Maybe I'm just imagining things. What do you think? Do you see a difference? I'm looking at battery died, but we were up close and personal. Do let me know if you see differences. I don't. I seriously do not see any difference Maybe the shade, it's tiny, tiny difference uh, in the shade between these two. But other than that, exactly the same. Again, could you have told that this, uh, you know, see the difference if I wouldn't, if you wouldn't know? I even think this one is blurring a bit more, you know, the fine lines that you have on your lips. Uh, as you age, basically. Uh, this one is a blurring just a tiny bit more than the Dior. But they are identical. They have the same Doffler. I mean, if we're looking at the five lip oils, or the four lip oils, compared to the Dior, three of them has a very similar, if not identical, wand applicator which i love the only one that doesn't is the color pop but other than that the formulas are very very similar now these three these three compared to the dior are almost identical subtle differences uh let's talk about scents these two are minty these are sweet cherry candy. They all have the same Doffler again. Uh, let's say about the tint. This one has... A, that This is tinted. You can definitely see the difference in the tint compared to the other three. Or even the Colourpop one. So this is the tintiest, tintiest of them all. This is slightly tinted, but again, you couldn't see the difference. So it's tinted, but not as tinted as this one. This is the supermodel one. Very, very tinted one compared to the Dior. Now, packaging wise, you can't beat Dior. None of them can beat Dior. 
by long shot. Let's just look at them. Plain, 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 plain. I mean, the Dior packaging is the best one. None of them even compares to this packaging. None of them. And again, if you're going out on a dinner or you're going out and you pull it out of your purse and you reapply your lip oil then and you can afford it, definitely go to the Dior because, you know, the packaging. Just the packaging is a deal breaker. But if that is not interesting to you, if you just apply it at home and you want to save a few dollars, uh, then definitely... I recommend one of these three. I didn't really like the Doffler of the Colourpop. The formula is great. Again, the scent disappeared. There is no scent anymore. Scent of chemicals. But no scent of cherry. So the scent went away. I have to say that the scent is going away also from here. From the NYX one. It is starting to evaporate but it has a candy sweet scent if you like it when i opened it and smelled it i didn't want to close it i still have a very candy sweet scent to it so if i need to recommend a replacement to the dior is definitely one of these three go to the one that is more uh, approachable affordable has the best shade that you want Again, this is more tinted than these two. But, you know, again, if you're at home and applying a lip oil, nobody will know if you're applying the Dior. They look the same. Okay, that's it. This is everything I have to say about these lip oils and compared to the Dior one. That's it. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give the video a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe before you leave. Join my family here on YouTube. You can follow me also on Instagram at Karen Does Makeup or on TikTok at Karen Does Life. That's it. Um, like, subscribe, comment. Write something in the comment section down below. Is there another lip oil that is similar to the Dior? Maybe has also a prestige and luxurious packaging again this is plastic it's not even it's not even from glass but it looks so luxurious and heavy and beautiful if you have a dupe or a similar product i don't really really like to use the word dupe but you have something similar to the dior with a similar packaging that you can recommend and write something in the comment section down below and with that said I will catch you all in my next video. Bye!